Well, hello folks. I wanted to do a very brief video in an attempt to explain the planetary annihilation economy to you. Now it should be relatively straightforward for those oh hello who um, have played Supreme Commander and understand that economy well. Basics. You have two resources. You have metal and you have energy as you can see at the top of the screen. Now you have you buildings that can produce metal and energy respectively. So you have the metal extractor and your energy plant. If I go ahead and build a metal extractor, watch what happens to the number next numbers here. Now they go minus 20, minus 500. That is my resource uh, per unit time, let's say. As of this moment, I am not sure whether it's per second or not. Now you'll also notice, now that I've done that, the my metal per unit time has increased. That is because this produces an output of metal equivalent to plus seven. As you can see down in the bottom right, there are the numbers there. They're quite small, so I'm not sure if you can read it. It's plus seven metal um, minus none, and it's plus uh, eight energy minus none, I believe. Oh, no, it's plus none. Sorry. Again, it's really small. So, that is now increasing my metal per unit time. If I build an energy... Uh, power generator or whatever. This will then give me an output of plus 700 energy per unit time. Now when I've built this you'll also see that the number up there goes to one plus one seven hundred. Now the basic premise of these numbers and bars at the top is that if it's in positive it means you are getting in more than you are using to produce. In other words you are receiving more money than you are spending and therefore your reserves which are these bars fill up until of course they can't get any fuller at which point it doesn't matter if you're wasting resources or not you have a good economy and as long as that economy is good you can go ahead and produce things without eating into your reserves. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build a few more of these because I know there are there's no other human players in this game. They're all AI. No one of them is about here somewhere. So I'm just going to do this. Notice how the number, the, the negative number up there is no longer negative when I'm building this. That means that I have enough income of metal to actually produce this which is 300 metal okay so you know that's and because uh, when they will get through the alpha they'll also give you build times and then the game will work out that 300 metal across that build time will equate to an amount per unit time that is used and spent and that will give you your economy an impact so now we have a good economy right? I'm getting in more than I'm spending that is fine my reserves are full now if I end up building way too much I end up with red numbers at the top which are negative and that indicates that I am spending more than I'm getting in. At this point you would start eating into your reserves which are the bars as I've already said and of course the negative number per unit time indicates how fast those reserves will be eaten up. Now I'm just going to go ahead and build a ton of uh, engineers here to indicate something. While those are building, I will talk you through the importance of storage. The importance of metal and energy storage should be reasonably clear. These increase your reserves. So if I go and build a metal storage, if you watch the numbers at the top, they're going to go from 800 total storage. to 1300 storage. There we go, now that's finished. I'm going to do the same with an energy storage. 
And that is going to... I'm not sure quite how much that's going to increase it by. Maybe... I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, if I'm honest. That's going to increase it to 27,000 from 12,000. So energy storage is obviously quite crucial. So that's fair enough. While the rest of these build, I'm going to uh, assist those in the building. Now notice that these are going to have their own production costs. Now, uh, using my commander to assist will of course take up more resources because of course you're spending resources using your commander to build these things. Hence why if I remove my commander my energy is positive whereas if I use my commander it's going to take up more energy and blah 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 blah. Anyway, back to your storage. If your reserves are greater then it doesn't matter if they're full because that indicates you have a good economy. However, if they are, if your economy is negative, if you have got negative numbers, you are going to find that you're going to want larger reserves because, as you saw earlier, when the bars started depleting, my reserves started depleting, they were going down reasonably quickly, and I believe my commander might be stuck in the buildings. Oh no, he's just going to pop underground. That's fine. Um, this is an alpha bug that it is at the moment, and I'm sure they'll line it out pretty soon. Anyway, the bar depletes relative to the rate that your negative score is. Negative score, negative number in your economy. If you have greater storage, that depletes slower. Let's do a hypothetical scenario of numbers. So let's say I have a thousand metal storage and I am losing a thousand metal per unit time. Let's say unit time for this instance is seconds. That's going to go down in 10 seconds, provided it stays a stable negative rate. Um, I'm just going to turn down my volume a bit more again. Now, okay, that's going to go down in 10 seconds. That's pretty darn quick. If your storage is, let's say, 100,000, and again, you end up in a scenario where you're losing 100 per second, that's going to take 1,000 seconds to deplete, which gives you, therefore, a lot more time at your um, spending level. So, in other words, if I were to, say, be wanting to build a huge unit which costs a heck ton of stuff um, and I don't know let's go ahead here and build one of these I don't know um, and you want to build the huge thing and you've got your commander building it and that's fine but then you want to build it faster okay so let's assist with a bunch of engineers and of course that's they're each going to take resources now, it's okay the first one or two, you remain in a positive economy. Then you add more and you start going negative, and you think, okay, this isn't going to go well. Let's build it as fast as we can, plop all ten engineers, let's say, on, uh, on building this building. Now, that's A, the building is going to go up pretty darn fast, provided you have the reserve, but it's also going to deplete your reserve pretty darn fast because of course you're going to increase your negative score every time you do such a thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build uh, a big naval factory here to in because big naval ships uh, take a while to build. Now you see he's going to build there reasonably slowly so I'm going to assist him with my commander. Now look at my watch what happens to my energy when I start assisting him here. That's going to minus 700, so my bar is depleting faster. I take him off, my bar depletes slower. I put him on, it depletes faster. Now let's say I get all of these dudes building one air factory, just so to indicate something to you. My energy has got nothing in reserve, that means anything that uses energy is going to <laughs> dramatically slow down, as in properly slow down. Now as you can see this is going up reasonably fast 
with all of these dudes sat here building it. But my mass is going down quite a bit. Now if I get rid of these, if I can, I'm not sure if I can, I'm just trying to delete them. There we go. So I now have no metal income. Um, again, my reserves are there, so that's helping with these two storage units. But if I have, say, nothing left in my reserves at all, that means I have a completely stalled economy. And actually, I can still do it, indicate it here, if I set all of these dudes building this <laughs> from that range. Now watch what happens to the rate that this is being produced. I can't zoom in any further. But, I mean, you can see it's going okay at the moment. You know, it's getting about a pixel or two per second, which is good. Now, I have nothing. And the bar is pretty much grinding to a halt. It's not stopping because the resources are kind of there. When it's at zero, it means basically the moment you get something in, you spend it on exactly what you're building. Which is why this is being so slow because, you know, I'm getting, say, one metal per second and that's being spent on this, which just happens to cost... 3,300. So that's now going to take 3,300 seconds take away however much you've built. So you can see why having a positive economy and not a stalled economy is important. Let me take all of these dudes off and start building some stuff back. As I believe that might be a little bit more than just a tad important at this stage of the game. Of course, I don't have any even to do this with, so these are going to take an absolute age to build on their own regardless because of this thing taking up my resources and not having any to do anything with. Now I believe I have covered pretty much everything about the economy here, or at least enough to sort of get you started on this game, and this can also translate over to Supreme Commander. You just use the different resources and because Supreme Commander is in its retail stage whereas Planetary Annihilation is in Alpha, Supreme Commander gives you the figures of how much it'll impact your numbers at the top, your income per unit time. And just to sort of reiterate the income per unit time, let's say I'm I have plus 100 per unit time and I use my commander to build something which is which takes 10 metal per unit time. That means the duration of the the duration that my commander is building that structure, my income will be plus 90 metal. Now that's okay, it's positive. But again, if you get enough assisting, you then get into negative at which point it becomes an inefficient amount of assistance. So lay off a few assistants, maybe send one of them to go and build some storage in the background and then come back and if it's still not finished you have uh, you know a more efficient um, you know a more viable solution in terms of assisting because your reserves aren't going to be depleted as fast so this is where the whole economy management while building units is really important in certainly planetary annihilation and supreme commander because if you end up let's say we're in a mid game situation Four player free for all, my main base has been completely wiped, this is all I have, my enemies have sprawling bases now because, you know, they managed to smite me, and, you know, every bit of time is precious, they're sprawling all over the map, just hunting, hunting each other down, destroying whatever gets in their way. I'm not going to be able to defend at all with this, and I won't be in a position to either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to briefly lay off building this, lay off each of these workers, lay off my commander. Now you'll notice that you have positive now. This is the final point. Your commander himself brings in an income. As you can see in the bottom left now, it's plus 10 metal and plus 1,000 energy. 
Now the reason I have plus 1700 is because I still have this energy generator here. So, you know, losing your commander is also damage to your economy. A, because of his increased build speed and because of the resources he puts into you. Now, the team at Uber have already said that they will put in um, upgrades for your commander. Now, whether this is going to be like in Supreme Commander, I don't know. But in Supreme Commander, you could um, upgrade his resource income. So your commander alone gave you a greater resource income and now that helped a lot when building higher tier structures. In this game you only have two tiers and I'm, you know, of course they're going to have to put in a commander upgrade because at the moment you can only build the basics of the basic tier. Like these guys can build, you know, things like radar, artillery, whereas your commander is stuck with your basic stuff. And of course at Tech 2 you get even greater amounts of stuff that you can do. Now you'll see how much faster that built because I now have stuff in my reserves which I can eat into. Again while it's not particularly the best thing to be eating into your reserves you want to make sure that if it does happen you don't end up going to zero and having to sit and wait for things to be finished. Now you saw how much that flew up there. That is because the duration of the time that they were all on it I wouldn't have got to the bottom of my reserves and so that's fine in effect I'm still in the positive economy a negative economy is okay as long as you know you're not gonna run out by the time you're finished doing your construction now I hope I have been able to help this is another new thing they've put into the alpha it's not quite finished yet but it shows the scale they're going for. Um, now again, I hope I have been able to enlighten you on the way the economy works in this game. If you have any future questions, do not hesitate to ask them in the in the comment section or send me a message. It's fine either way. I do not mind. Again, I will be giving lots of coverage of this game over the coming months. Uh, especially soon, uh, in the next couple of days, I will be releasing a video which details the patch notes for the latest um, alpha update. It'll just be a short, sweet thing listing off all the updates. Um, and, you know, maybe a bit of gameplay as well to show maybe how some of the things are progressing. But there hasn't been all that much to things like units or anything like that. But that's for another time. So, thanks again for watching, and uh, I hope you stick around to see a lot more from Planetary Annihilation and some of my other series as well. So, why not subscribe? Because then it comes up on your feed anyway, and you don't even need to come searching for my channel in order to do that. So that would be a good positive for you. So there we have it, your explanation on your planetary annihilation and your Supreme Commander economy. I hope it was useful, thanks for watching, have a nice day.